Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Monse and I am 27 years old. I have three kids, I'm a military spouse and I recently opened my own business in February of this year. And if you are coming back, welcome back. Thank you so much for coming back. I'm so excited to be making this video for you guys today and thank you for being patient with me. Uh, let's get started with the video. All right, so as you guys can tell from the title of this video, we are going to be talking about vendor events. So vendor events for small businesses are super important and um, a little background on my business just so that we can, just so you guys are familiar with my background if you haven't watched any of my other videos. Um, I started my business back in February of this year and um, it was something that I had been wanting to do for quite a few years, but I put a plan down and I decided that this year was gonna be the year that I was going to go for it. Um, so I did plan out um, about a month in advance my drop and for the first five months, actually completely um, exclusively online and then um, I decided that I wanted to start doing vendor events because um, vendor events if you are not familiar with them are basically um, events that you can attend as a small business where you will see a whole bunch of small businesses kind of out there with either a table or like their canopies and it's just a basically a little section that you can uh have at like market um outdoor marketplaces or uh say um just random events where they will have been vendors um small businesses one of the things that i decided that i really wanted to do just because as a small business that is solely online it's really hard to get your name out there and also find clientele that way clientele that way so I made it a mission to find my uh, a vendor event near me. So what I did was I went on Facebook and I searched up groups. Um, in the search bar, I would pretty much search vendors near me, vendor events near me, and I came across uh, Facebook groups where it would be geared to uh, towards small businesses, so vendor events for small businesses, things like that and i've pretty much been able to find all of the events through facebook um i did try instagram as well however in my area there was not a lot to find uh with that being said uh you can also find place it vendor events by word of mouth i actually had a neighbor of mine tag me in some events on facebook that she saw and you know, sometimes word of mouth is the easiest and best way to find those. Let's talk about the things that you will need for the actual event. Um, I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got for mine and I will link everything down below in the description box. I got everything that I, uh, for my event from about three places. I think it was Amazon, Walmart, and Office Depot. So let's go ahead and get started. I went and purchased um, a tent. Um, you don't necessarily have to purchase a tent if you don't want to. However, most places are, most pop-up events are outside. There's some inside you can find. However, most of them are outside, located outside. And I figured that I might as well just go ahead and purchase it now and get it out of the way so that I can have it for future events. Um, you don't always have to purchase everything if you know someone in your family or a close friend that you can borrow a tent from or like a table from and that's what you'd rather do for your first few pop-ups then you are more than welcome to do that um i just would rather purchase my own things and just know that i'll have it for future events like i mentioned so um yes so i purchased a pop-up tent i already had a six foot table that i actually keep in my office and that's where i i use it as my shipping station so i already had a six foot table um and i purchased my tent from dick sporting goods so a little pointer for you guys if you're gonna get a canopy tent, make sure that you try to get one of the ones that are an easy up tent because those are so, so fast 
and so easy to put up, especially if you are going to be doing this event on your own. You want to make your life as easy as possible and with these tents, the easy up tents, you're able to put it up on your own with no help from anyone. Literally, it'll take like five minutes to put it up and it's, um, it's super easy to take down on your own and I'll put the one that I have in the description box. Um, also, another pointer is that you want to try to also go for a neutral color for a canopy tent because sometimes events do require you to have um, you know, um, more neutral colors. Uh, is I also purchased a banner for my event. Um, the banner that I purchased, it, I actually got it from um, Office Depot. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Mine looks like. Ah. So I created mine on, I don't know if y'all can see the whole thing. Let me see. Hang it from, from the actual uh, canopy or you, I actually hung it from my table, but um, I really like it and I purchased it, like I said, from Office Depot, same day pickup. Um, and I created it on, I designed it in, on Canva. I mentioned that I also purchased some chairs from Amazon. I purchased two chairs from Amazon and they actually came together in a, um, in a set and I'll also link those below. They are super, they're foldable chairs and they are super handy because um, believe it or not, chairs like that are kind of pricey. I checked on Walmart, I checked at Walmart, I checked different places and they were pretty pricey. So the ones that I found were actually super great um, quality and they're very uh, affordable. So I'll link those below. The next thing that I'm gonna uh, mention is the table cover. So, and you don't have to have a table cover, obviously. However, if you want it to look more professional, more put together, I would highly suggest it. Um, the table cover that I got are actually the ones that um, are fitted to the table. So uh, I got it from Amazon as well. This is what it looks like. And I like the fitted look because one, if you are outside, the wind is not gonna be blowing it everywhere. And two, it just looks a lot more sleek and professional. So they have tons of colors on Amazon and they're not super expensive. Um, I went with a white color because I just, my brand is mostly white and then a blush pink. So I prefer to, I was able to find a blush pink but it wasn't able to get here on time. So I just ended up going with a white. Um, and then the next thing that I would say is you definitely, if you are a sh uh, Shopify, if you have your website through Shopify, they actually give you a free um, card and chip readers. So this is a $29.99 value and they give it to you for free if you have a website through them, which is awesome. Um, if you do end up losing it, I believe you, you have to purchase a new one on your own. They won't give you a second one for free. But um, if you haven't gotten one of your uh, for your website website yet, I'll definitely I will link the um, the I will put the link down below in the description box that you can go ahead and sign up for one. And it took about two weeks for me to get it. Let me go ahead and bring it to y'all. Um, I don't have everything that it came with anymore, like the box or anything like that. But this is what it looks like. Excuse my nail, it fell off today. Um, and then inside is the, you get the basic one, but honestly, I feel like you wouldn't even need anything more like th more than this for a pop-up event. And it's um, it was awesome for me. So this is what it looks like. And then this is where it swipes right here. And then this is where you insert if you want to insert. Um, it also comes with its little stand. This is what the stand looks like. And then it's uh, you charge it right there. So this is what it looks like. And then it also comes with the charger right here. This came up, came up, came out super handy for me. Um, I absolutely loved it. It was a little bit tricky at first, but 
I was able to figure it out. And once I did figure it out, it was like a breeze to use. So I do recommend that if you are going to be using this, um, make sure that you get familiar with it um, the day before or a few days before because the mistake that I made was I didn't test it out and that's why I ran into some problems and I almost lost the sale because of it because I was like trying to figure out uh on the spot and it was really embarrassing so don't be like me please <laughs> try to figure it out um prior to the event uh you can download the app the POS app for Shopify and that is what you will be using uh if you're going to be doing in-person sales on the app you can uh, it also has a scanner so you can actually use your phone or an ipad to uh, use as a scanner and um it'll literally scan your tag so for example so for example these are my tags this is the front of the tag and then these are the tags that I was talking about earlier that you can print out right through the Shopify app and it'll have like all of that information. And so with the POS app, you will just use the scanner tool on the POS app and then scan this and it'll add it right to the to your cart. It is so awesome. I absolutely love it because one, you don't even have to purchase a scanner. You can just use your phone camera or through the app and it'll scan it automatically so that was like it was awesome for me this made my life like so much easier so it made it look so professional too like it makes your like setup look super professional with your little swipe reader and all of that i just love it so that's another super important thing that you want to add to your list of things that to bring to your vendor event. Um, another thing for me was bringing a sign. So the sign that I made, I also made it on canva.com. Okay, so this is what my sign looked like. It says, let's get social and follow like tag. And then I put scan me and then my QR code that you can actually download this QR code from your Instagram. Um, so that uh, was sitting right on my table and uh, it, it was an easy way to spark conversation with people too. If I saw that someone was looking and they seemed a little bit interested, I would be like, hey, we also have um, an Instagram account if you wanna follow us to you know be up to date on everything. So it was a good way to get followers as well. I think I gained um, about 12 followers that, that day that I had my event and that was fun. So yeah, I brought, and then another thing that I brought was just this, this actually broke the day of cause it fell, but that's okay. I still have the little ball that I'm going to attach back on there, but I just brought this and it was kind of, um, what I gave to the, to anyone who purchased anything. And I also gave it to like little kids if they were with their parents and stuff. Oh so yeah, you can just do little things like that that uh, I feel like your customers will appreciate and it'll make it, you know, a little bit more memorable of an experience for them. Um, and then another thing that I brought with me were uh, gift bags. So the gift bags that I purchased were pretty plain Jane. I just got white gift bags from Amazon. I'll show you guys what I, what they look like. So this is what my largest bag looks like. And this is the sticker that I will print it out for it. So it just kind of adds just your name. Um, it's nothing fancy at all. It's just, just so it's just not plain white, but I feel like it looks a lot cuter than it just being, you know, a plain white bag. But um, it's a good way to add your brand if you are just starting out and if you don't want to, you know, spend tons on branded branded bags. And this these bags are also from Amazon. They came with a, um, a small, medium, and large size. And I'll also link these down below if you guys are interested. They were super affordable as well. Um, and then I would put tissue paper um, with the gift bag. So I would wrap the clothes in tissue paper and then that way it adds a little bit of color. Um, my tissue paper is my branded color. So it added that little bit of, um, pop of color. So it's not just completely plain. I also brought hand sanitizer. I brought 
gift uh, business cards and I brought um, thank you cards. So those are some things that you can also bring for your event are a uh, business card, thank you card. And if you even have um, just um, any any type of postcard that would have your, your store's information on it, I definitely recommend bringing it. Um, I did have a lot of people that didn't buy from me ask me for them. And so that's a good way to, you know, eventually, hopefully they will turn into clients themselves. And also brought a mannequin. Um, the, I wanted my, my pop-up to look kind of like a boutique and give you a boutique feel. And so I felt like uh, I brought the two clothing racks, so on, I put the two clothing racks on each side of my table and then I had my little mannequin on the side as well. And the mannequin, everybody was like always coming up to it and like checking out the outfit that it had on and I actually sold the outfit that it had on. So I feel like it, it definitely helped and it, it added that extra bit of um, boutique feel to my event. So definitely, if you can, if you already have a, a mannequin, definitely bring it with you. And if you don't have one, I definitely recommend for future purposes to get one. A cash box is definitely important because not everybody uses cards, uh, even though it is, you know, 2021. Um, a lot of people I've noticed that they actually still use cash because it's their way of giving themselves a budget when they're out and about at these events. So what I got was a little tiny box. I got it from Walmart and it was literally probably maybe $12 at the most. It did come with a little, um, a little, uh, key. Um, I can't open it cause I actually left the key in my room, but, um, yeah, it comes with a little key and it's, it's small, compact. That's all you need. I feel like, um, and it is, I usually just keep a little bit of change in there just in case somebody does have any cash, I am able to give them change if, if I need to. So um, that is another thing that I recommend is a little cash box. Oh, I'll show you guys the hangers that I purchased from Walmart as well. So um, these hangers were actually in a, pa a pack of 50 for around $11. And that is an amazing deal, you guys, because most hangers that you you find that coming packs, they usually sell for like a dollar a hanger. So like, say you want 50 hangers, you're probably gonna pay like $50 for 50 hangers. And these were only $11 for a pack of 50. Again, from Walmart, um, Walmart comes in, in clutch sometimes, y'all. I am not too good from Walmart. I love Walmart. Um, I, you can find some really good things at Walmart. I feel like they've really upped their game a lot. This that I purchased look like, they're like a really pretty, um mauve pink color and they had other colors as well they had gray they had uh ivory um black i'm pretty sure and i think those are the only ones that i saw but um also from walmart they are the i feel like these look made everything look so so pretty and since they are the color of my color of my brand it, they almost like were made for me. I think those are the main things that I do recommend bringing to your event. Uh, I recommend doing vendor events. I feel like they're so much fun and I built so much confidence from my first event. Um, just having people come up to me and tell me how, how much they love my pieces and things like that, it really built up my confidence. And um, it sometimes, you know, it's really easy to doubt yourself as a business owner when you're not seeing results right away or if like you are solely online and um you're not getting like tons of sales it's it's really easy to be hard on yourself yeah i just wanted to put that out there and i hope that my video was able to help you guys um if any of you have any questions or anything please comment the question down below i'm gonna try to um i will respond to all of the comments if you would like to message me, you can also message me on my personal face on my personal Instagram. It is right here. And then if you want to follow my business Instagram, it is at shop moonstone apparel. And then I will put it right here as well. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and and I will see you guys next time. Bye.